Hello citizens of Tamriel. Before we share our wealth building knowledge, we want to give our fans the privilege of choosing our next video. If you received this video as a recommendation from YouTube, it means you either watch a lot of our content or have clicked on the YouTube notification bell. We sincerely thank you and encourage you to comment below, letting us know what you would like to see in our future videos. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. The first major adventure for many in Skyrim begins at Bleak Falls Barrow, a Nordic tomb that towers above the town of Riverwood. In the main quest line, you are tasked by Ferengar's secret fire to retrieve a valuable artifact called the Dragonstone from within its depths. As one of the earliest dungeons you're likely to explore, Bleak Falls Barrow serves as an introduction to many elements you'll encounter throughout your journey. You'll encounter treacherous traps, ancient undead creatures known as Draugr, and intricate doors that require dragon claws to unlock. Prepare yourself for a daunting encounter with a colossal spider and a cunning thief along the way. Completing the challenges within the barrow will reward you with a chest full of treasures and the Dragonstone itself. This precious artifact will ultimately guide your Dragonborn character towards discovering the power of their voice. Just a short journey away from Whiterun lies the tomb of Volenrude, the final resting place of the formidable warrior known as Quenel the Tongue. Although Quenel may not be resting peacefully, his presence is undeniably felt within the tomb, along with his renowned weapons Iduj and Okin. The barrow itself is intricately designed to reflect the significance of these legendary weapons. To gain access to the main burial chamber, you must venture through the tunnels and retrieve a ceremonial sword and axe, each located at opposite ends. Once you have both weapons in hand, you must bring them together at the door of the burial chamber. This act of unity will trigger the door to open, granting you the opportunity to confront the spectral form of Quenel and claim his prized weapons. It's worth noting that these weapons possess a unique power, inflicting 10 points of frost damage to both health and stamina upon your enemies. Not far from Riften lies Anselvund, a Nordic tomb that has already seen its fair share of visitors. As you venture into the barrow, you'll be confronted by Luar Ulskaven, a grieving necromancer who is determined to bring her deceased husband back to life using dark magic. When her attempts fail, she seeks revenge by unleashing an army of undead thralls upon Skyrim. To achieve her twisted goals, Luar has resurrected the legendary ancient Nords, Fury and Holgear, and coerced them into aiding her. While it may be tempting to sympathize with Luara's sorrow, resorting to raising an army of Draugr to annihilate the living is not a healthy coping mechanism. As you progress, you'll eventually face off against Luar herself. In gratitude for freeing them from her control, the ghostly couple, Fury and Holgear, will bestow upon you the Ghost Blade, a remarkable ancient Nord sword with a spectral appearance. This unique weapon carries additional damage that can bypass armor, making it a formidable tool in your adventures. Located on the southern bank of the river, just north of Windhelm, there lies a peculiar and mysterious tomb known as Ingol Barrow. The name of this tomb pays homage to Ingol, the son of Isgrimor. Depending on the quests you undertake, the nature of the enemies and treasures within the tomb may vary. Often, you'll find the tomb devoid of adversaries, but you won't be entirely alone. Curious orbs of light will emerge from various corners, emitting cheerful sounds as they accompany you throughout your journey. Setting quests aside, if you venture into Ingol Barrow, you'll have the opportunity to discover the Helm of Ingol, guarded by a formidable entity known as Ingol's Shade. This magnificent headpiece not only boasts an impressive appearance, but also provides a substantial 30% resistance against frost when worn. Located south of Riften, nestled on the side of a mountain, lies Forelhost, an intriguing sight to explore. Outside the tomb, you'll encounter a man named Valmir, who presents himself as either an imperial soldier or a stormcloak warrior. He claims to be on a quest to find the mask of the dragon priest Rago. However, rather conveniently, he has no desire to enter the eerie tomb himself and requests the dragonborn to venture inside in search of the prized artifact. Forelhost is a sprawling tomb that once served as a stronghold for the dragon cultists. It holds within its depths a haunting tale, unraveling the grim events that marked the cult's final days. Prepare to face ghostly apparitions and ancient Draugr as you make your way through the tomb, ultimately leading to an epic battle against Rago himself. Should you emerge victorious, you'll be rewarded with Rago's mask, a valuable item that bestows an additional 70 points of stamina when worn. While plundering tombs can yield valuable material rewards, Ingvild holds treasures that are truly worth the effort. 
Inside this ancient burial site, you'll come across an enlightening book that enhances alteration magic, a powerful grand staff of charming, and even one of the elusive stones of Berenzia. However, there are more profound reasons to venture into Ingvild. Seeking justice becomes a primary motivation as you delve deeper. Within its halls, you'll encounter ghostly apparitions and menacing Draugr, all of them female. Uncovering journals left behind by an elf named Arondil exposes his disturbing intentions, and his sinister connection to the undead women. It becomes clear that he has been manipulating their spirits for his own twisted desires. Luckily, an opportunity for righteous retribution arises. By seizing the soul gem located next to Arondil's throne in the burial chambers, you can release his control over these tormented souls. Witness the satisfying spectacle as the ghostly women turn the tables and exact vengeance upon their captor. Some things in life are simply priceless, and the poetic justice served within Ingvild is one of them. Finding this barrow can be quite a challenge. Its entrance isn't immediately apparent and can only be accessed through Deepwood Redoubt, a location that isn't marked on the Skyrim map. To reach it, you must first make your way through the Forsworn infested Deepwood Redoubt, an outpost with concerning notes referencing their enigmatic matriarch. These hints should raise some red flags, but it's not until you cross into Hag's End that you finally discover the identity of their leader. Prepare for a fierce battle with the Hagraven, who will constantly teleport to different areas within the ruin, making the confrontation all the more intense. The showdown will ultimately reach its climax on the rooftop. On the altar located there, you'll uncover a unique weapon called Bloodthorn. This extraordinary dagger possesses the ability to fill a soul gem upon slaying a creature, and it even has the power to siphon a small portion of an enemy's health. Situated near Dawnstar, as you approach Frostmere Crypt, an unusual scene unfolds before you. A bandit named Asa Blackthorn is under attack by her former comrades. If Asa manages to survive, she mutters about her friend stealing their boss's sword. Venturing deeper into the bandit hideout, you'll come across a remarkable sight, a forest thriving far beneath the surface. Within this peculiar environment, you'll discover both the boss and Asa friend lying lifeless. It turns out that the sword taken from the depths of the crypt belonged to its rightful owner, who is none too pleased about her belongings being pilfered. At this point, you have a choice. You can return the Pale Blade to its rightful place on the altar, thereby appeasing the spectral Pale Lady or you can forcefully send her back to the afterlife and claim the sword for yourself. This unique weapon possesses the ability to deal 25 frost damage with each strike and instills fear in creatures below level 16, causing them to flee. The decision is yours to make. Deep within the desolate reaches of a distant land known as the Reach, lies the mysterious Valthium Barrow. As you step foot into this ancient burial site, you are greeted by the spectral presence of a long-departed Nord. This ethereal figure is in dire need of assistance and reveals a troubling truth. The notorious dragon priest Hevnarak still possesses a flicker of life and poses a significant threat. Confronting Hevnarak directly requires the retrieval of three sacred vessels scattered within the tomb. These vessels must be found and returned to the ghostly spirit to empower the dragonborn, enabling them to face off against the undead priest. Engaging Hevnarak in battle proves to be a formidable challenge, as with most dragon priests. However, triumphing over him will yield a remarkable reward, the Hevnarak Mask, bearing the same name as the defeated priest. Wearing this powerful artifact grants the wearer immunity to diseases and poisons, a highly advantageous trait in certain perilous situations. Yalmark, a region in Skyrim, holds an intriguing destination that captures the imagination of treasure hunters, the colossal ruins of Labyrinthian. This sprawling labyrinth isn't just home to a single prized possession, it boasts three distinct areas, each beckoning aspiring thieves to delve into their depths. First, there's the enigmatic Shalador's Maze, a twisting and turning labyrinth that challenges your mastery of the various schools of magic. Exploring its arcane corridors will not only test your wits but also yield a remarkable circlet. This coveted headpiece possesses the power to reduce the magicka costs associated with casting spells, making it a coveted artifact for any aspiring mage. Venturing further into Labyrinthian, you'll encounter the haunting tombs of Lost Valkyg. While these tombs may be among the earliest locations you stumble upon, they offer a tantalizing opportunity to acquire ebony weapons. However, be prepared to face formidable Draugr, wielding their ebony armaments with expertise. It's a dangerous undertaking, but the reward is worth the risk for those seeking to arm themselves with these formidable weapons. 
but the allure of Labyrinthian doesn't end there. Should you possess all the Dragon Priest masks scattered throughout Skyrim, an extraordinary discovery awaits within the central chamber. Donning the wooden mask, which resides in this mysterious chamber, will unlock a final, elusive reward, an artifact that is notoriously challenging to find, yet holds immeasurable value for those bold enough to seek it out. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe as it really helps us grow. We upload videos like this regularly on the channel. Click that notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos and releases.